If you have something planned from December 21st to 23rd, cancel right now. So it doesn't matter if you were supposed to go out and buy Christmas gift for the kids, you need to cancel. Because Darktable 5.4 will be released and there is someone, Mr. Kovac, that made a new module called AGX and it will change everything. I know some people don't like Darktable and the main reason is because people are getting weird colors. The most common are Salmon and Magenta. But I believe the new AGX Tone Mapper will fix everything. So if you want to know why, stick around. Okay, so let's start with the magenta problem people are having in the highlights. So from what I've been reading, this is an oversaturation artifact created by Filmic and Sigmoid. So to demonstrate that, we will use this picture I took last week nearby El Chalten, Argentina. So I haven't done much on that picture, so I've only corrected for exposure and I've enabled Filmic RGB. But this area is overexposed because the sun was right there. So if I zoom in, uh, you can see that we have magenta everywhere. There are many ways for fixing this, but the thing is we shouldn't have to fix this in the first place. So it should work out of the box. And I believe that's the main reason people don't like dark tables. So they have to learn tone mappers like Filmic and Sigmoid and then they have to learn ways for fixing the issues created by those tone mappers. But now we have AGX that will fix everything. So all we have to do is disable Filmic, enable AGX and click on the color picker. And voila, no more magenta. If we pixel peep, there's still some magenta, uh, but I'm not sure this is caused by AGX or uh, if this is something else. But still, this is day and night compared to Filmic RGB. And the thing is, I have no idea how the AGX module is working. So for that, we will have to wait for the official documentation. But I believe there are ways for fixing the remaining magenta by using the primaries. And that's why I have nothing planned for December 21st. So I will just make sure I have enough food and drink. And then I will just sit at my computer, read the documentation, load up Darktable, play with the AGX module, and that's it. But still, even if I don't know what I'm doing, I'm still able to get much better result out of the box with AGX compared to Filmic RGB. Another example is this picture. So with Filmic, you can see that we have pink in the overexposed area of this image. Before, I would have tried to use highlight reconstruction or different modules, but now we have AGX. And voila! No more pink. Since I started this channel, a lot of people told me in the comments they don't like dark table because they are getting weird colors. But I believe the new AGX tone mapper will fix everything. So if that's your case, I believe you need to put December 21st on your calendar and try dark table 5.4. So that's it for me. See you next time.